Hey you guys, um, my name is Dr. Cheryl Meyer and I help people navigate through their spiritual awakening and all of life is a spiritual awakening. Today I just wanted to share real quick uh, something I was learning from a Joe Dispenza video. I think it's called the formula we now use or something. Uh, maybe I can link to it, but let's just get the information because I keep forgetting this for some reason, you know? So I just figured if I need a refresher course, then it's good to give to you guys. Not need, but you know, it can help our lives so much. It's just, um, our brain creates neural pathways and receptor sites. If you think of it like uh, if like there was a yeast overgrowth in your body, it would want sugar to feed it. You know, if you just have yeast in a Petri dish, it wants sugar, you know, you want it, that's how it grows. And so there are receptors that are built from childhood that are like, as far as I understand, you know, I went to graduate school as well, got my doctorate a long time ago. Uh, so I've been practicing as a psychologist, but there's always more. I love learning. So um, they're saying that there are receptor sites that say, like, let's say you're used to being rejected or you're used to putting yourself down or someone else putting you down in the morning um, when you're a child or whatever, or telling you you're not enough because they're just reflecting what they felt inside. Oh, I got to get some air. It's hot today. It's like, nine, oh, it's 80 here, but it's 90 um, away from the coast. I'm right by the ocean. I really ought to do this by the ocean, right? So you guys can see it because not all of you guys live live by one it's beautiful um all right maybe i'll go right let's get some scenery in this i got my skates on already <laughs> so we can get there quickly all right um i grabbed a nice tea on the way okay so uh so your brain gets used to these receptors and it gets used to these feelings, these feelings of lack or, uh, you know, like I did something wrong or someone else rejected me or um, uh, maybe just like, oh, I just have to get high or something. And so if you make a move to change your patterns uh, if my friends are here, everyone's going to start saying hi, so let me see how I can skip it just for now, and I'll go back to them. Is, uh, if, when this happens, then, um, then, um, What happens is like, let's say you make a new resolve to do something else, to, to act in a different way, to, to break a habit. That's why they say it takes 21 days or something to break a habit. I, no, I like to form a new pattern. So it's like that. It's like a, what happens is you'll make a resolve to do that. And then you'll begin, you know, with, they say like, didn't Christ say that? Christ said that in the garden. The flesh is willing, I mean, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, you have a spirit of courage and, um, the ocean. and, um, but then our flesh turns weak, our, um, and it's, it, it, even if you think of it like, what if he was giving you some profound, you know, tip, pro tip on consciousness, on higher consciousness, it's like the, your brain receptors are part of your flesh, you know? You, you grow a momentum towards doing those other behaviors. And so just know that you gotta take some time to build the momentum going a different way, thinking the new thoughts, acting in the new behaviors. Give yourself grace and patience and love. And um, mm, it smells so good. It smells like the salt sea. Um, I don't know, I was just so encouraged by it because I was, it was like, uh, don't give up, don't settle for less, 
don't get mad at yourself that you are it seems like you're being pulled back to those things that it's not you anyway uh, the more you get into deep presence this is why i created my class on the power of now and getting into deep presence because the more you get into that you gotta see who's i'm not gonna i'm not gonna film who's coming next to me <laughs> they look rad though i mean i'm just not gonna do it i think it's yeah it's a guy in his g-string <laughs> that's so funny though it's so awesome i celebrate everybody in their weirdness because look at how weird i am i'm a psychologist like coming out to skate i love it there's nothing wrong with skating but um it, it puts you in that flow state and it gives, it brings you in presence. I can't wait to put my music on. I got my little speaker hooked onto my shorts. Because um, music does that too. Uh, one of my friends was telling me, because I was telling her I do this music therapy thing with YourSoulSongs.com. And she was reminding me how her daughter was in a car accident. And the doctors all said she'll never talk again. And, and that she would never walk. And now she walks and talks. But she was reminding me, because I didn't remember how this happened, that her daughter could only sing for a while because singing was in a different part of your, her brain, you know? And so she could access the singing. And then she started singing, Mommy, I'm okay today, you know? Like Elf, you know? And then she started learning how to talk all over and the doctors were amazed, you know? And so I didn't know why my intuition was calling me to teach people through songs because it felt like I was starting all over but I'm not starting all over I'm still being a psychologist I'm just using songs because it helps us it, it goes past like religion and race and our defenses and it just gets you in that flow and, and the music is flowing Elliot told me something about music about um, it's the one art of the, the medium where you're moving with the artist you're traveling with them they're with you as you're experiencing the um the transformation or whatever that he didn't say transformation because he wasn't trying to do a moral or anything but elliot smith um you, you you travel with the artist in time that's what he was saying you share time with the artist anyway it's a really cool concept but back to what we were talking about with dr joe dispenza he was talking about um 95% of people and spend 95% of their time in just subconscious patterns and so it's like uh, Eckhart Tolle says the same thing in The Power of Now he says you get so used to your pain body that it's like if you haven't experienced um, you know the pain pain body is like your present day personality or egotism it will go dormant for a while and if someone hasn't rejected you in a while and you're so used to that then you'll just find someone or find something in your environment that will bring you those same chemical feelings because that's what you're used to not because you like it you know it's horrible toxic you know you you don't like it at all just like you don't like being a slave to your addictions you know or a slave to going back to the easy way you know um and don't make excuses for yourself but be gracious to yourself be loving uh, and learn to start having a better feeling thought that's how some people put it you know do things that are healthy and enjoyable and loving to yourself like moonwalk on skates let's see if i can moonwalk <laughs> i haven't warmed up yet but yeah you can't tell from this angle but that was a moonwalk um give yourself permission to be joyous but then this part, your brain chemicals will be like, what are you doing? We got to go back to telling you you're not good enough and you're a failure and all those horrible things that you got used to experiencing. Oh my gosh. These people are doing like a swing dance. I love it. I love it. I love it. He, he's the one that just walked by me. I was like, sorry. I'm like, don't be sorry. We're sharing the sidewalk. I can go like this. Um, all right. There's good stuff in this, you know, just because I'm being playful and, you know, on my skates. Oh yeah, I want to give you guys the ocean. Doesn't mean that this isn't amazing content. I just don't like putting on airs. I don't like acting like I'm all professional and I'm all above, but I have the experience and the knowledge and I want to own that as well. So I'm working on it. 
<laughs> it's only been 20 years. All right, much love. I wish you guys so much love. That's why I do this. All right.